their transparency and their skills to become invisible kind of disappear and they slowly transform into basically a slightly different animal or at least dramatically change their lifestyle as they essentially now become one of the apex predators. Although even as grown-ups, they still use a lot of techniques that rely on being super quiet and practically invisible. And that's because they're technically ambush predators. They quietly wait for the prey to get really close and then try to grab it with these enormous hooks before trying to kill it with this beak. Which by the way is also one of the main differences between the colossal squid and the other members of the glass squid family. It seems to be the only species to possess these enormous hooks that it basically uses to catch various types of prey. And even this young one right here seems to possess them as well, suggesting that even as juveniles, they seem to already possess a lot of skills required to be an ambush predator. But nevertheless, this is still a bit of an anomaly when it comes to the family of glass squid. I mean, just the fact that they lose their transparency and even change their bodies so much that they become hunters and start to actively hunt prey already makes them so different from anything else. And from what we can tell, despite the fact that we don't see them very often, they seem to be super successful. And this is based on the fact that we discover a lot of beaks in a lot of different whales, and even the fact that a lot of fish that's caught coming from the deep ocean very often contains a lot of scars from the battle with the colossal squid. So basically, in many cases, fish tends to run away, but is still left scarred. Statistically, out of about 800 fish that was examined, 10% contained scars from the colossal squid. 